Okay. But they, I think I think most of these people are not in need of asylum. And They're I not, think you're really a lot of there. them are not coming from e extremely dangerous places. Their lives are not in danger. If it, if they were, I think then that's they a really cruel way minute, to think. They wouldn't destroy their identities, their passports, their everything, because then they would be able to prove that they had come from a war torn country and their so lives are in danger. You, but no, they destroy them and they pay they pay the traffickers probably as much as they thousands, would have to pay to get a legal visa, but. The point is, if, even if they applied for a legal visa, they wouldn't get it because they're not eligible to come in. They don't have what the UK needs to have people. I know people who have got legal visas and they cost tens of thousands of pounds and they don't stop. You have to go on and on year after year paying this kind of money to mm. live here legally. Yeah. And, and those and, people just come so in. So do you and, think and, the solution is to throw all these people in detention centres well, indefinitely? People no, we have to stop the boat. In the world. That's the point. And we have to stop the boat. pushing them back is going to stop the boat? Yes, it will. It will. Because, Amy, if Where they, are, if they understand, if they understand that they will not get to the UK, then the boats will stop, as Australia proved. And you, did, and you, you asked about these TikTok, death, these TikTok migrants. I've got some footage of it, actually. So these, these folk are from Tunisia, right? Uh, Tunisia. And they have come over from a boat in Tunisia. Uh, a hairdresser is, is, is the TikTok migrant. She's got uh, nearly 140,000 followers now. She wasn't happy because she wasn't making enough money in Tunisia it's as so a hairdresser. It's so sad that you could use this, that clip, to represent the migrant crisis. Because look at what I've just said about what... Well, I'm presenting you factual like, evidence and, and another, of some of the folk who are coming over, so not... Like, so because you just, Amy, you just said that economic migrants I, don't exist finish, and this is an economic migrant, that's all I'm saying. Yeah. One time. I could have a better if you life look in America, at the people but I can't the just go there. This is not the same, is it? Look at the people in detention centres in Australia. There's people from Iran who are fleeing persecution, who were going to be killed if they stayed there. There's women who aren't protected. There's children who aren't protected. And right, but we have a legal and, asylum oh, we do, system. We do, but the, all this idea that we're just saving women and children is also factually incorrect because mm. the vast majority of people that come here through the asylum routes are yeah. young working age men. It's not women and children. And if Amy, it was that is a fact. Women, I would, I would be fully with you. But I'm afraid it's not. It's men leaving their children and women at home, or to be left to rot in camps, and they're coming over here on boats. That's Makes the reality. Me so sad that that is the way that you view this. Situation. Okay. Well, does a hair, does a hairdresser in Tunisia deserve? to skip the queue because they've paid an illegal people smuggling gang. All you're actually doing, Amy, is depriving a genuine asylum seeker in Afghanistan from gaining legal yeah. entry to the country.